guys, welcome back to my channel, Araceli here. Today's video is going to be on this look. I was looking through my palette and I found the Club Tropicana palette. And I know I haven't used this palette in a really long time and I forgot how amazing it was. It's The eyeshadows are really pigmented, very frosty, very glittery. Really great product. I don't think BH Cosmetics sells it anymore, but they are really pretty, very colorful. Um, I love it. But yeah, anyways, if you guys would like to see how I created this look, please keep on watching. And before you go, don't forget to subscribe to my channel just because I really appreciate it. And don't forget to hit the bell, ding, so you guys are notified when I upload a new video. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day or night or wherever you guys are. Anyways, let's begin. Hey guys, so I already did my foundation and my eyebrows just because I do it the same way every single time. The only thing I change is the foundation and today I'm wearing the Remo Lasting Finish 25 Hour with Comfort Serum. And But that's about it. That's the only thing I change. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to jump right into the eyes. I'm going to go in with this NYX palette. And I'm going to take... Let's see... My brush number six by BH Cosmetics, which I believe is a blending crease brush. Um, and I'm going to take this shade right here in the corner. And I'm just going to put that on my crease. Did you guys like how I did my video last time when it's up close? Or do you guys like seeing it up far? Let me know in the... Um, Bottom. I'll do this one from far away and you guys can decide which way you like it better. I personally like it this way better because it's harder for me to uh, put up the camera up close because it doesn't really focus all that much sometimes. I wish it did so it looked a little bit better and a little bit more clear but it does the job for now and I'm only starting out guys so Maybe later on I can get a way better camera and hopefully I'll do the close-up more. But if you guys liked how I did the close-up last time, just let me know down in the comments and I'll do them more like that often than doing it from far away. I know you guys, I'm, I know it's better to see it from up close because you can see how it looks and stuff. Um, it's just hard for me to do it with this camera because it doesn't show it that great doesn't focus as much as i i would have liked but it does a job for now so i'm just gonna add this all over my crease i'm going to go for a purpley look today um i was inspired by this one photo i found on pinterest and the one on Pinterest has black here. I didn't want to do black. Um, but we'll see. We can darken it up a little bit with some brown maybe. Because I don't really want to. I don't like using black on my eyes that much. If the darkest I go is just dark brown. I'm not really a big fan of black on my eyes. Okay. So I'm just going to put that all over my crease and just blend it out. And then I'm going to go... I'm going to go with the Club Tropicana palette by BH Cosmetics. And I'm going to go with this purple right here. And I'm going to put that on my lid, but towards the... I'm going to put it towards the outer corner. And then we're going to go in with the lighter one. So I'm just going to put it on my lip and on the outer corner area. Just halfway. And I'm going to bring it up to my crease. And then, I know it kind of looks funky right now, but we'll fix it right now. Don't worry. Okay, then I'm going to go with this light one here. I was going to do this one down here, but I'd rather do this one. This one's a little bit lighter. I think it'll look better. 
and I'm going to put that in the inner corner. And I'm going to bring it out with the other one. That way it gets blended out. And you can't see the harsh lines. There you go. And then on the other side. I really love these shadows. They are so, so pigmented. Like, no joke. <laughs> so I just went back with this brush number six by BH Cosmetics just to blend it all out. Okay, so I'm going to go back with the same um, color from this palette. I'm just going to add it a little bit more to my crease just so you can see the color of it. And then we can darken it up with the darker brown. I use this darker brown from this palette. I'm going to put that in the outer corner. Just so it looks a little bit darker. This is my favorite blending brush. I think it's super. Let's see, do I want to have it a little bit more purple? Maybe, you know me, crazy. Okay. Actually, I'm going to go with this shade right here, and I'm going to put that in my brow bone. To line it up up here. So what are you guys going to dress up for Halloween? I was going to do Halloween looks, but maybe next year, guys. I'm not that... I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know what I want to be this year. I kind of wanted to be a nerd. I don't know. Any suggestions, guys? If you do have some, comment them down below. I'm going to darken it up a little bit more here. Okay. And then I'm going to go back to that Club Tropicana palette. Because I want the shade to be a little bit more purpley. I'm going to take off the shade a little bit, but... Just a little bit more purple. I have no idea why I'm holding my brush like that. Okay, and then I'm going to go with the smaller flat brush and and add this white shade in the inner corner. And then with that same brush, I'm going to take the dark shade of purple and put that in the bottom. driving me nuts now i'm going to add eyeliner and false lashes off camera um because I, I can't do it for with this mirror i always have to hold it up here and i always end up covering myself with the mirror or like i don't know so i'm just gonna add the false lashes off camera and eyeliner so no lashes two eyelashes 
did add the NYX eyeliner, which is the one I use, this um, Vinyl Liquid Liner, whatever it's called. But yeah, that's the eyeliner I used. And yeah, so now I'm going to... I did put the setting powder on my face, so I'm just going to dust everything off. You can't really see it on there, but... I just like to wait a little bit to add mascara to my lashes because I feel like the glue is a little bit wet and when I add the mascara it kind of pulls the lashes down so I'm just going to wait a little bit and then I'm going so now I'm just going to do my con <coughs> can't talk. so I'm just going to do my contour in the meantime I have to get it. and I'm going to use the same one I always use which is the naked um, flush palette I have another one it's in my big box so I bought the Naked Wolf. I think it was last year that I bought it. But it's in there. Down there. I have to take it. the other one out. I haven't tried the other contour one. But I really like this one because it's not as dark as other ones. I've tried the BH Cosmetics one in, last time, in one of my last videos. And it was just way too harsh. So I like this one because it's really easy to blend out. And I already know how it looks and all that. And it's not as dark. I don't like... I don't like it when it's super dark. I have no idea. But yeah, I really like this one. I'm just gonna add it to my temples. Oh, these dink hair rollers. It's the only thing I don't like. That they're all up in my face when I'm trying to do my makeup. So I'm just gonna blend it all out. I really like to go towards my ear. That way it doesn't look too crazy. Okay, and then with that same brush, I'm just going to take, actually, I'm going to take, which blush? I I'm going to take this Jordana blush, I think it's called, let's see, what is it called? Coral Sandy, Coral Sandy Beach, which is number 38, which is kind of like a, um, here, I'll take off the packet part. It's just a corally pinky color. Yeah, which is not something too... cheeks I like this one because it's not super pink it's just like a natural pink tone I really love it this chair is driving me nuts supposedly my brother fixed it but it's not um, okay, so then I'm gonna go with the Maybelline Falsies Volume Express Mascara. It's, it's probably one of my favorite mascaras. Um, I also like the telescopic. I'm just gonna add it a little bit to the lashes so they blend in with mine. And I just love adding mascara because it, it just darkens up the lashes and it just looks way better than just normal to the bottom lashes I'm just going to add the Naked um, Lip Gloss in the shade Naked. I don't know if you guys can see that. Maybe you guys can. <laughs> it came in... Oh my god, it's running out. I really love this lip gloss. But it came in my Urban Decay of Wall. something because this is running out I have another lip gloss I just have no idea where I left it and it might be here somewhere
So that is the makeup look. Now I just have to get changed and leave my hair down and I'll be back. So yeah guys, that does complete the look. I really liked how my eyes turned out. I didn't practice this look before. I normally, when I do a video on a look that I created, I always like to try it out the day before I record the video, but I didn't this time. I just went with whatever popped in my head. But yeah, I really liked how it turned out. And yeah, anyways, if you guys like this look, please give this video a big thumbs up. I will really, really, really appreciate it. And if you guys have any special requests, comment them down below and I will get them to you. Anyways, thanks. Bye.